if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration and juice. It is Wednesday, September the 20th, 2023. And today the topic is Consider Adder. (sighs) Y'all, all all right. Well, uh, it has been a morning (laughs) for me. Um, you know, I I believe that I have a a word (laughs) or two to share. Um, I I felt led to kind of start this off by saying, you know, no man knows the day nor the hour uh, or anything like that. But it does feel like a, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I I mean, um, you guys can, I guess, let the Lord lead you on what he you know, it you know, or reveals to you what he's saying that this is. But I mean, it could be a right on time, I guess, message for whoever I would say tune in live or listens to this or watches this today. Um, or it could be, you know, something uh, for the future as well. Who knows? Uh, but regardless, I'm just going to share with you all what uh, happened, what I've received. And, and the Lord's going to say whatever he wants to say through me in regards to the references and whatnot, because all I did was write down um, the things that I felt led to write down. So, <laughs> um, if you was curious about my day or if you care about it or whatever, I mean, yesterday was cool. Um, yeah, there was some cool stuff that happened yesterday. Um, maybe I'll talk about that in the after show. So, sorry, podcast people, if that's something that you like hearing about what happened. Um, yeah, I kind of feel led to just get to the juice. So let's get to it, and then if I feel led to share about my day and whatnot, then that'll be in the after show, all right? Um, yeah, so consider Adder. Um, those of you all, if you look at the Go Deeper section, or if you saw the title of this, you see how that's spelled, but I'll just spell it just in case you don't look. It's A-T-E-R. Um, now, you may wonder, how did I get to this? Uh, well, I'm going to tell you. Basically, uh, long story short, you guys know, um, a lot of the times, if I wake up any time outside of four, I usually make a note of it and look it up. So, today was no different. I woke up at 3.33. Now, I think it's important to pause right here because I know people really are into these things called angel numbers and all this type of stuff. So, I guess... With three being repeated, um, this would be considered, I guess, a quote-unquote angel number and things like that. Um, And I guess I just want to, I guess, preference all this by saying that at the end of the day, I don't pay attention to that type of stuff. Um, I tend to either Google Bible and the numbers, or I um, now I go to what is called the Strong's Concordance. I downloaded an app. I told you guys about it back when I did it. Um, but I'm just going to say it again today because I used it a lot today. So there's an app. It, the, the icon is purple. It says Bible. Um, if you look up Strong's Concordance, you should be able to find the app that I'm using. Um, if it's still available or whatever the case may be. Because um, who knows when you're going to listen to this. <laughs> but basically, um, yeah, there's an app called the Strong's Concordance. And it's purple icon that says Bible. I use that to go deeper about numbers um sometimes um so yeah so that's one thing i want to just go ahead and put on the table here um now with that being said that's what i did this morning now yes i did do both i you know googled bible and whatnot and yes some verses came up and they were good but i felt led to focus on uh what i found in the strongest concordance so um, this title, Consider Adder, is literally what I translated, quote-unquote, um, the 333 
to me when I looked up the two, uh, when I looked it up in the Strong's Concordance and I read both the Greek and the Hebrew word for three, 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 or the word that was correlated, words that was correlated with three, three, three. Um, sometimes when I come across these things, like for example, if I put in three, three, three and it shows me, um, these words written in Greek and in Hebrew, obviously I don't read Greek and Hebrew. So I tend to go deeper. I'll copy that thing. I'll go to Google and say, translate it or whatever the case may be. Um, so that's, uh, I mean, I did that a lot today and I guess I'll try to share, but I don't, you know. I don't know which particular words I did it for, but some of the things are already defined in the app. Some of the things I go deeper about when I look at look it up on Google and stuff like that. So again, with that being said, um, one of the definitions, I don't know if it was the Greek or the Hebrew, but one of the definitions was saying consider or um, it also meant like behold, one of the words that came under 333. Um, so, but consider stood out to me the most. So I said, okay, consider what Lord, you know, um, I went to the next word, which was again, either the Hebrew or the Greek. And it was saying adder. Um, now it didn't say adder. It said an Israelite. And then it also said, um, whatever the Greek version of it was. And when I went to go deeper about that, that's where I got adder from. Um, I believe if I'm not mistaken, but you guys can go and confirm all this on your own because I just told you everywhere you guys can go in regards to the Strauss Concordance um, or what I use. So go and check out if I just explained it to you correctly, but that's pretty much what I did. Um, and when I translate it at or, or sometimes when it says like a name, I'll go and see what the name means because we know that the Bible does that a lot, like a lot of names. And I guess all of our names in some way, which is interesting because my guest yesterday was talking about this. But anywho, um, or my, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. But anyway, um, our names have meaning and, and whatnot. Um, I don't know if y'all don't know that or not. So whatever your parents name you is kind of like speaking over your life in some ways. Uh, if you go deeper about it, I guess you'll find out. I know it's interesting because my name is Miraculous. I mean, yeah, y'all know me as Miracle. Um, but that makes it kind of hard for me because <laughs> it's not a regular name. And so I've often questioned like, well, what is my meaning in X, Y, and Z? But that's a whole nother conversation. We talked about Adder today, okay? Um, so when I looked up Adder, <laughs> it said uh, left hand shit. Uh, when I went deeper about Adder, just to make sure, um, I was seeing words like binder, black, dark, fire, to send, to deliver, things of that nature. Um, so ultimately, um, when I first started looking up verses and stuff like that, I was kind of looking into things like um, consider the left, I mean, or no, I was like left hand closed or um, things like that. I would, for some reason, I focused on the word closed rather than shit. And that's kind of significant later because then I went back to shit and that gave me a little bit more uh, revelation. But, um, you know, I was looking up those different things. And to be honest, like I said, when sometimes... As I was going deeper, I felt like it was important, but at the same time, I was like, I don't understand, Lord. You know what I mean? Like, what does this mean? You know, okay, I, I know that the Bible has a lot to say about the right hand versus the left and stuff like that. So that's what held me on to this conversation to to keep going and keep going deeper about it. Because honestly, for the first few minutes of me just looking, trying to figure out what Adder meant, um, I was almost, not say discouraged to keep looking, but I just was like... I don't understand what's happening. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand, you know, what you're saying to me, Lord. You know, I, and I keep feeling led to keep going deeper, but I just don't know what to even look up, you know. Because um, even when I looked up the word close, it's very simple. It was a very simple definition. And it just was like, okay, you know, there's nothing standing out to me here um, or whatever the case may be. But ultimately, I just felt led to just start writing. And so that's what I did. Um and whatnot. So I just picked up a pen. I just started writing down the things that I saw. So I started with Adder, those things I just showed you or told you guys about. Then um, when I was um, started to look up again, the difference between right hand and left hand or right and left in the Bible, these are the things that were standing out to me. Um, right, it says strength and honor. Then it said left usually represents biblically riches and honor. Um, the right tends to represent Christian people. The left 
uh, represents all others. Um, also, the left represents weakness, uh, passivity, the lame, and then it also mentioned female principle, um, which we know that people take issue with what the Bible got to say about females. I'm just telling y'all what the things right and left usually represents biblically. Um, so I was I was feeling led because I was like, oh, okay. I was starting to see something here in regards to the left being closed because that's what Adder meant. Um, but so I just kept focusing on the word closed. So then basically I defined the word. I told y'all I really didn't get much, but I went ahead and wrote it down anyway. The definition that I saw said not open. And I'm like, okay. You know what I mean? I, I know, but still, you know, I'm like, well, what's the point of me? So with the hand is not open, like I'm trying to figure out the left hand is not open. I, I just really couldn't figure it out. I was like, what, what does this mean though, Lord? Um, you know, are you closing something off? Like, I mean, I know I've definitely have heard the prophecies about, you know, the, you know, evil people and things are going to come to a head and X, Y, and Z and all this type of stuff. So I'm like, is it that type of stuff, Lord? You know, um, I definitely saw something in regards to, uh, the left hand, um, uh, meaning like the judgment of God and things like that as well. Um, I didn't write that down, but I did go deeper about that later on after I had done all the rest of this stuff. But anywho, let me keep telling y'all what happened. So then basically after that, I started to look into the word shit. And then that's when I came across this definition. It says move into position so as to block an opening. And then it also again says close. So, um, and then the second definition says make something unavailable for business or service either permanently or until due to be open again. So with that being said, I definitely was seeing or, or receiving, I guess that, you know, what, if you're on the left hand, right? Like if you're not of God, if you're you know, in the anyone else category, then I, I, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen right now. I don't know when, but expect your, I guess, wells to run dry is what just came into my heart and mind right now. Um, whatever prosperity, whatever the case may be, might be getting closed real soon. Um, you know, I'm just receiving like that. That's what I'm receiving by this morning as I was writing, finally writing things down. And then even right now, again, I didn't write nothing about wills <laughs> on this paper, but that's what just came to me as I was sitting here talking to y'all now. Expect your wills to run dry. Um, because I mean, obviously you're not, you're out of the will of the Lord. Um, you know, that could be Pope. I mean, but I'm just letting y'all know what, what came to me or what's coming to me. So anywho, after this, uh, what else do I have here? I have, um, uh, I started to go deeper because again, I'm considering adder. I'm considering that word adder. So I went back and in the Strong's Concordance, it talks about like these different places that the word adder is in, in the Bible. Um, I didn't write down the places, but again, y'all can go there to the app yourself and see. Um, you should be even able to even Google if you Google like Strong's Concordance 333 and all this type of stuff. I, but I believe you guys should be able to find it yourself as well. But uh, I'm just going to share with you guys, again, my process of what was coming to me. And hopefully you guys receive whatever the Lord is trying to say through me and through all of this. So um so as i went back into adder and then i went and looked up looked at the particular verses where the word adder was used or quote unquote the name adder was used it kept representing like this um this biblical figure in their children honestly uh something like that or i, I mean i guess maybe the line or the bloodline or whatever the case may be but anyway um ultimately um I started to pay attention. So basically in the verse where it said the first verse that I looked at and it said it mentioned Adder, um, it mentioned like 98 children or something like that. And so I just happened to go back to the Strong's Concordance and plug in 98. When I did that, um, it came up with Adramatinos, uh, which ultimately led me to Adramatinum. Um, and then. Uh, but so. One of the words meant that, and that means uh, court of death. Court of death is what that means. The other one, again, it's either the Hebrew or the Greek. So you can look at whichever one it actually is, but it's one of those. And then the other one, the Hebrew or the Greek, it means lake. Um, and when I look up a biblical meaning of lake, it means um, the... Uh, you guys may be able to have to look up that word, garner something of of uh fertility and then it says the transition of life death and resurrection 
So, I mean, um, again, I mean, we know that that's the choice at the end of the day, life or death. You know what I mean? That's the choice, good or evil. Like, those are the choices um, and everything like that. And we know that, obviously, those that choose Christ and things like that, you have chosen life and things like that. Um, on the other hand, if you choose against Christ, then you're choosing death, X, Y, and Z. This is all according to the Bible, not just my little humble opinions, okay? So, um, with that being said, I mean, choose you this day. Um, you know, are you going to approach God and then you end up in the court of death? I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, you know, these are things to think about. I'm just telling y'all again what and the Lord sharing with me this morning through this conversation and, and title and stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I mean, um, I kept going and doing this. So when I went to the second one, um, I came across 139 and that brought me Lord of Justice. Um, it also brought me uh, taking, receiving a choice selection. So again, um, this just reminded me, and I think this is what may ultimately made me go deeper, deeper about um, God's judgment because it just kept reminding me of obviously like, I guess the judgment seat and things like that. And people say all the time, only God can judge me. But then it's like, do you truly think about what that means? And, and does that affect how you're going to live your life? If you know that at the end of the day, God, only God can judge you. Like, it doesn't matter what I think about you or anybody else. At the end of the day, it matters what God thinks. And if you're going to continue to walk a lifestyle or do things or whatever the case may be that is out of the will of God and, and, and you haughtily say, yeah, only God can judge me, then don't be surprised when the judgment comes. You know, don't be surprised when your wells run dry. Don't be surprised... You know, when you're at the seat of God and, and he's looking like, I don't know you, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. Is that a humbling thing for you today? Or are you going to be, hold on to your pride and, and continue to scoff in the face of God and say, yeah, only God can judge me, but that's not going to affect how I want to live or, or live or whatever the case may be. Um, it's just something to think about. I mean, you know, I'm not here to judge or whatever the case may be at the end of the day. You're right. Only God can judge you, you know. Um, but I don't know. Like when you and I know this might be I don't know if it's a quote unquote hellfire message or I don't know if, you know, this is a quote unquote scared straight situation. But if this does scare you into a straight path, then to God be the glory. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, I know people struggle with that as well. That's something else that was coming to me as I was um, writing down all these and getting the revelations about the judgment and all this type of stuff. It's like. But sometimes people need to remember, like, who God is and, and everything like that. Like, just a few weeks ago, we talked about, you know, um, there was these verses that talked about, like, if God took his breath away, like, we all would just perish. Like, that's how powerful he is. But we we take his kindness for weakness and we um, take his long-suffering nature and, and spit on him. You know what I mean? Or whatever the case may be, just the utmost disrespect. And it's just very interesting. Um or whatever, like thinking about all of this and things like that. So just something to think about. I'm just going to keep telling y'all what I, I was receiving. So here we go. So after I read, um, came across uh, 139, so I went to the other verse, another verse, and I noticed that it was talking about 98 again. Um, I had already looked up 98, so I didn't feel led to do that. But then ultimately it came into my heart and mind to say 98 times too, because I saw it twice. And I said, okay, so then when I, um, I did that calculation, it was 196. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, 196, well, I'll go ahead and tell you now. So 196 meant, uh, one of the words meant foolish and the other one meant most precious. Listen, we don't, we talking about the left hand and the right hand, y'all. Are, are you going to be on the, the most precious side or are you going to be on the foolish side? Like, I mean, that's what I'm receiving. You guys can go deeper and see what the Lord's sharing with, what else he's sharing with you about that. But yeah, that's what I got to look into when I, I saw um, 196. Or oh, that's what I received. Then again, there was another verse. Um, the number that stood out to me was 138. And it says, take for oneself the Lord God. At the end of the day, I know people keep talking about the rapture. You know what I'm saying? And and they joke about it. And they, they're like, oh, people say all the time, God's coming back. He didn't understand it for thousands of years. Da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, when it happens, like, are you going to be amongst those that are taken or not? You know, um... And see, that's the thing. I know um, I kind of struggled with this as I, you know, studied and whatnot, because I was kind of confused, you know, because you hear about apparently there's still going to be believers 
on earth uh, after the rapture and things of that nature. And you're like, how is that? Because they are supposed to be taken up, right? Well, I, what my revelation or the revelation that has come to me and y'all again, y'all can seek the Lord for yourself. But the revelation that has come to me is those believers after the um, rapture and whatnot are those that are probably lukewarm now. Um, and that felt very final when I said that, um, I'm just telling y'all what I'm feeling in my heart. Like the lukewarm now will be the ones that perhaps, um, will come to Christ afterwards, but you still got to go through the tribulation at that point. So, I mean, I, I guess you do your part and, and, you know, prayerfully get more people to join you at that point, because obviously if you're left behind and you know, like what happened to those that have been taken, then, Ultimately, that will hopefully encourage you to get on a good foot. But at the same time, it talks about the plenty that that won't steal. Like they'll they'll witness the things and then they'll still, you know, scoff at the Lord. They'll still, you know, throw up their fingers or whatever the case may be. And so, um, but anywho, y'all can again let all of that marinate. I'm just gonna keep sharing the things that stood out to me. So, um, there was one verse I went to, um, and it didn't really have any numbers. It only had three names. It had uh, Ad Adder. It also had uh, Hiskia. Well, I might not be saying it right, but I'm just going to try to read it the best I can. Hiskia. And it also had Azur. Um, when I looked up Hiskia, 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 whatever it is, and Azur, this is what it means. Hiskia means God strengthens. Azur means he that assists or is assisted. So, um, and we, we told y'all that uh, left hand and shit uh, is what adder means with all the other stuff that I had mentioned earlier. So, um, that's something to think about as well, you know, um, I mean, perhaps this is the good news in this situation. I mean, God is there, right? You can accept him now. You can start walking in the way today, right? Um, and everything like that. You guys can go deeper about all this and let, see what the Lord shows you um, and everything like that. You have another chance if you're still alive, breathing, listening to the sound of my voice, right? But the thing is, you know, at some point, the chances will be done. You know, at some point... The, the I guess the left hand will be closed and the judgment's going to come. And um again, it's up to you which side you're on, but I mean it's just something to consider and think about. Um and that's what I feel led to 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 do today. I mean, consider uh <laughs> consider adder, you know. Um now let me see. Um I was asking Lord, well, you know, do you have any Bible? Um, for this, you know, and so I ended up uh, going to openbible.info and I think the Lord led me to plug in, I think God's judgment at that point. And the very first verse said this, it was first Peter four and 17. It says, for it is time for judgment to begin at the household of God. And if it begins with us, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? Listen, I, I listen. If I needed confirmations, which I didn't, but if I did, <laughs> that being the very first verse I came across when I asked the Lord, did I have, did He have some verses? I mean, I mean, there's so much there. I mean, one, it confirms this whole thing about judgment and that it's coming soon. Now, again, I can't say it's today. I can't say I don't know. You know what I mean? No man knows the day, nor the hour. Um, I know at some point as I was writing this, I said, Lord, what if he, what if I'm sitting here doing the juice and he just takes me away right now? <laughs> and I'm like, first I'm live and then I'm no longer here. I I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm still here right now. So we're going to see the Lord do. But what, <laughs> but that did kind of cross my mind as well. Like, I guess to think about this, it can be suddenly. The Bible says suddenly, y'all, um, and things of that nature. And so it's something to think about, you know, are you ready for that? You know, um, that's, that's one thing to consider. Um. Another verse that stood out to me to share was 2 Corinthians uh, 3 and 16. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may <clears throat> receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. 
listen, it's an individual thing. It doesn't matter what you feel about people in church. It doesn't matter about, you know, what your mama did, what your daddy did. It don't matter about, you know, all the different voices that's on social media. It don't matter about any of that. At the end of the day, the only thing that's going to matter is you and your decision. You and your choice that you made with Jesus. And, um, and no one can take that, you know, uh, take to you, take your place in that moment, you know? Um, so it's something to think about y'all. I mean, consider Adder today. Um, you know, again, I, 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 you know, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, there were so many verses. Um, I put a few in the go deeper section for you guys to peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls, and mind. But there were so many that I just said, hey, go to openbible.info yourself and plug in um, God's judgment and see what the Lord leads you. You know, see what verses stand out to you. And um, yeah, and consider where you are in life. Um, think about uh, what you're going to do with this message of Christ. And I mean, I also need this the juice today. I mean, I got another verse. And then I got the Bible verse of the day. So here's the last verse that I felt led to write down. It's Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. It says, for God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's the juice today. Uh, it might be pulpy. You might not like it. It might be a little tangy, but I hope that you guys take heed, um, you know, Whoever listened to the sound of my voice, I hope that you are encouraged and inspired to at least go deeper about these things. And yeah, that's the juice. Now, the Bible verse of today is Matthew 5 and 4. It says, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Um, before I let y'all go, let me tell y'all this right quick, because here's another thing. Again, I didn't need more confirmation, but I just happened to look it up and it became more confirmation. Um... So y'all may notice I, I got this little colorful pen and today, um, lately I've been using purple, you know, I, I, first I started off using black and then I started using blue, um, cause my black was starting to, you know, fade a little bit. So I started using different colors and I've been using purple, but today when I started writing, I just picked the color. I didn't even look at it and I just started writing and I ended up using green today. I looked up green before I went live here um, in on dreammoves.com. I went to looked up green as a, um, like, what does that mean? And one of the things that stood out to me in regards to the meaning, they had several meanings there of what green can mean. But the thing that stood out to me was the phrase that said, go ahead. So, um, and I felt like the Lord was telling me to go ahead and, and do this and share this today. So, all right, I'm just sharing with y'all what didn't happen. I hope y'all y'all are encouraged and inspired. That's all I got to say about all of this, man. That's the juice. Um, today's Wednesday. I hope y'all have a wonderful Wednesday, and I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow if the Lord's will. Bye bye. Did you know that you can support us for just ninety nine cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there. Check out the options. Consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show. But we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.